Hi friends, hope you are uh, enjoying my video. Um, actually, I got a comment uh, saying that, uh, sir, uh, why don't you do uh, videos on uh, MBA question papers? Uh, so this video is for statistics for management first semester MBA February 2017 Bangalore University paper. Let's go ahead. This is the uh, first uh, unit. Explain the role of statistics in managerial decision making. Illustrate with the example. So the decision making process must include collection and analysis of as much data and information as possible in order to arrive at optimal business decision. Computerized analysis of data has made data simpler. So I have segregated where and all, what and all you use. In random sampling techniques are used by production manager at QC department to de determine quality grade materi uh, materials. Even accountant use the same technique while auditing. Then regression and correlation analysis is used in finance department to correlate a set of financial ratios with other business uh, uh, variables. The marketing department uh, uh, applies statistical tests for significance in their marketing uh, research. Forecasting technique uh, is uh, employed by top level management to estimate uh, sales volume. Uh, standard deviation method are used by, uh, by various profit center to cut down their inert risk. See, these are all the where you use your uh, statistics. Okay, the second question, a bowler score uh, for a six games where 182, 168, 184, 190, 170, 174. Using this data as sample, compute the following descriptive st statistics. So we need to compute the disc uh, descriptive statistics, standard deviation, variation and coefficient of variation. First, we will calculate the mean. We know the total is 1068 and uh, six games are there. So the mean comes to 178. Then we will do X minus mean means the for the first one, it is 182 minus 178, which is 4, 168 minus 172, which is minus 10, 184 minus 178 is 6, 190 minus 178 is 12, 170 minus 178 is minus 8, 174 minus 178 is minus 4. Then we do a square of that, 4 square is 16, 10 square is 100, 6 square is 36, 12 square is 144, 8 square is 64, 4 square is 16, we get 376. Using this, we calculate variance. Variance is nothing but uh, 376 divided by 6 minus 1, which is 75.2. Then we go about calculating standard deviation, which is nothing but a square root of variance, which is the square root of 75.2, which is 8.67. And the last one, coefficient of variation, we have a formula, uh, standard deviation divided by mean into 100. We know standard deviation is 8.67 and uh, mean is uh, 178 into 100 is 4.87. Let's look into the Next problem, what is sampling? Explain different methods of sampling. Sampling is a process used in stat statistical analysis in which a predetermined number of observations are taken from larger population. The methodology used to sample from large population depends on the type of analysis being conducted. So uh, it broadly classified into four main uh, category first one is random sampling uh, where you randomly every member of the population has an equal chance of being selected it's for a very large sample uh, stratified sampling you divide the uh, population into various strata strata means group and then you pick it from the uh, from those stratas. Then we have voluntary sampling or convenience sampling, where for your convenient you take up the sample. Then opportunity sampling, simply selecting those who are available. These are the various different of sampling method. Let us look at the next question. Uh, five student T, Q, R, S, and T are given a problem to solve. The probability 1 by 3, 1 by 5, 1 by 6, 1 by 8, and 1 by 9 of solving the problem. So P the probability is 1 by 3, Q 1 by 5, R 1 by 6, S yes, 1 by 8, T 1 by 9 of solving the problem. What is the probability that the problem will be solved? Okay, for this we need to first understand what is the probability of not solving the problem, then it will be easy for us. For example, if you take P, the probability of solving the problem is 1 by 3. So what is the probability of not solving is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 3 is the probability of not solving. So for everything you need to calculate or uh, probability of not solving then one minus that will give you the answer okay so similarly just an equation i have given so one minus 
1 minus 1 by 3, 1 minus 1 by 5, 1 minus 1 by 6, 1 minus 1 by 8, 1 minus 1 by 9. So you get 28 by 11. So if you solve for this, you will get 65%. 53 by 81, which is 65%. Let's look at the next problem. It, this is a normal distribution problem. The mean circumference of 1500 shaft manufactured in a company is 15 centimeters and deviation from the mean is 3 centimeter. Assuming normal distribution, so the mean uh, sir, uh, the mean is normally distributed find out how many shafts have a circumference first one greater than 13 centimeter less than 97 let's look at the uh, normal distribution curve so this is your normal distribution curve this is your mean 15 and standard deviation is the deviation of this this is 3 centimeter, this is 3 centimeter, this is 3 centimeter. So we need to find out, we need to find out, so greater than 30 centimeter and less than. Let us look at first one. We uh, The formula is Z is equal to X minus mu divided by sigma, where X is the value that is being standardized. Mu is the uh, mean of the distribution, standard deviation of the distribution. Uh, mean and the standard deviation will be given in the problem. So we need to calculate greater than 13 centimeter, how to do 13 minus 15 divided by 3 is minus 0 0.666. So leave this uh, minus, go to normal distribution table. Okay, if you look at the table, you will uh, get for the table will be like this. You will be 0 0.0, 0 0.1 and in the top it will be two digits 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Okay, and also you need to look at what kind of uh, table you are looking at, what kind of area it is uh, giving. So if you can have an idea of it, then you will be able to solve this. So here in this case, I have I will go to the table and I will find where 0 0.66 is and I get a percentage. So I get a value. The value is 0 0.2454. Okay. So let's look at the normal distribution where this 13 comes. Okay. And what they are talking about. Let's look at the normal distribution. This is 15. If this is 15, 13, 15 minus 3 is uh, 12. So 13 comes somewhere here approximately okay what they are telling greater than 13 centimeters so we need to have know this area this whole area we need to know we need to know so greater than 13 centimeter we need to calculate so we know that according to uh, normal distribution table from here till here it is 0.5 From here till here, it's point. From here till here, it's point 0.5. So it will equally distribute so that if you add both, it will become one. So from the table, this is 13 centimeter. From the table, we got this area. This is the area which we got. Okay, there are different tables. You need to make sure which table you are looking at. Okay, so in this case, I am getting this area. So I need not this area, even this area. Add 0.5 to it, you will get the area. That's what I have done in my. So we need greater than 13 centimeter. We need to add 0 0.5. So the value is 0 0.7454. And the answer is we know how many number of shafts they have manufactured 1500 so it will be equal to approximately equal to 118 shaft okay let's do the second one uh, lesser than 19 centimeter lesser than 19 centimeter so 19 minus 15 uh, first we need to understand where 19 comes so 15 plus 3 is 18 18 19 comes somewhere here approximate you don't need to know the exact one 19 centimeter 19 comes here so you go and we got 19 minus 15 divided by 3 1.33 we go into table and we take the table value so we got this area this area 
but our interest is in whole of the area so what is staying less than 19 centimeters so whatever comes less than, lesser than 19 we have to take even this area we need to calculate so this we know it's 0.5 And this from the table we, we will get it. So table is 0 0.4082. We need to add 0 0.5 to it. It will become 0 0.9082. And we know how many number of shafts are there. 1500. So the answer is 1362. Okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, now let us look at one uh, another problem from the following data find the straight line trend and forecast the production figure for the next two years of a certain company okay they have given these two data will be given year and production we need to calculate the rest of the things since year or 2007-2008 it will be very hard for to for us to do so we simplify it how we simplify first we count how many years are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 years are there even number so we need to do uh, take a middle value of this if it is a odd number you would have taken uh, the middle of that but here we need to take the average of it for example 1 2 3 4 2010 and 2011 average uh, which which comes to 2010.5 how it is 2010 plus 2011 divided by both divided by add both together divided by 2 you will get this then we use this to calculate our x value that is 2007 minus 2010.5 which is minus 3.5 208 minus 2010.5 minus 2.5 1.5 like that similarly we calculate x so that we make the year simpler then what we do is we do x into y that is 64 into 3.5 that is minus 224 70 into 2.5 minus 175 minus 123 minus 34.5 37.5 132 225 326 we all add some sum, sum it together it will give you the answer okay and then we will do x square 3.5 square uh, 2.5 square 1.5 square similarly we do the oh, the trick for this is you don't have to do all the calculations see the x square you can do for this okay the same thing you will write for this so you don't have to do the operations again so if you look at till here you do mirror image of this will be the, this and then summation this is your summation Okay, then we have a easy formula y is equal to a plus bx. If you use that formula, we need to calculate a and b. x, uh, anyhow, we go know x is the year. We can, we can easily calculate for the next two years. Very simple formula it is there. The simple formula is we know all the variables n is equal to 8, sigma y is equal to 632, sigma x is equal to 0, sigma xy is equal to 167, sigma x square is equal to 142. So we obtain uh, uh, equation 632 is equal to 8a, so a is equal to 79, 6, 167 is equal to 42b, so b is equal to 3.967 and we substitute in that equation y is equal to a plus bx. So we have y is equal to 79 plus 3.976x. So we have done with your part. Now we need to calculate the, we need to forecast for the two years. That is 2015 and 2016. We can't directly write x as 2016. Why? Because we have made some changes uh, so that it will be easier for us. See, x we have considered as 3.5. So we need to calculate two, 2015 in terms of this. So 2015 will be 4.5 and 2016 will be 5.5. Similarly, 2015 minus 2010.5 is 4.5. 2016 minus 2010.5 is 5.5. Using this, substituting this in the equation, 2015, 79 plus 3.976 into 45, we will get 96.893 for 2015. Similarly, for 2016, it's 79 plus 3.976 into 5.5, which is 100.868. See guys, how simple it is. Let's look at next question. Let's look at the next problem. Using the chi-square test, determine whether a new drug discovered for preventing poultry disease is successful or not. Based on the data given below, you may use 5% degree of significance. So they have given us the data. Uh, got disease, did not get disease, administered the drug, did not administer the drug. So we have got, these are all called as observed value. 
these are all called as observed values we need to calculate at expected values so this see how we have calculated the expected value i will teach you how to calculate uh, expected values uh, it's very simple we need to do a total of uh, this for example total of 175 and 215 will be 390 and total of 810 620 will be 1430 then again 175 plus 810 is 985 215 plus 620 is 835 and uh, add any row or a column you will get your total this one either add 985 plus 835 or 390 plus 1430 it should come to 1820 now let's see how to calculate for the first 211.211.07 how to calculate it is 390 Into 985 divided by 1820 will give you 211.07. Okay, again I tell you 390. 390 is this. 985 is this divided by the total 1820 will give you 211. And similarly, 390 into 835 divided by 1820 will give you 178.93. Similarly. 1430 into 985 divided by 1820 will give you 773.93 similarly 1430 into 835 divided by 1820 will give you 656.07 it's very simple to calculate but you have to very easy to calculate so we have calculated the uh, expected values now we will draw the table observed values how you take the similar fashion you take 175 175 uh the observed expected value will be same 175 what were 211.06 you should not jumble it or you should you should not uh, change the order the order should be same so 175215810620 will write o minus e will do then o minus e square you will do then o minus e square divided by e you will do the so we got chi square we have calculate the chi square value as 17.099 so chi square value we have got now we need to go to a, there is a something called as a chi square table you need to go there and two important things you need to note one is the degree of significance so here the degree of significance they have given it as 5% then we need to see degree of freedom so how to calculate degree of freedom degree of freedom dof is equal to r minus 1 into c minus 1 so what r indicates is number of rows in this case the number of rows is 2 number of columns is 2 so 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 so the degree of freedom is 1 so when you have these two values when you go to your table value the table value comes to 3.84 so 3.84 for one degree of freedom 5% level of significance the value is 3.84 then we need to compare these two calculated value and table value so since calculated value is greater than table value that is since 17.099 is greater than 3.84 we accept null hypothesis that new drug discovered for preventing poultry disease is not successful okay so for, uh, before solving the problem itself we need to write the null hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis so in this the null hypothesis will be that the new drug discovered for preventing poultry is not successful the alternate hypothesis will be uh, the new drug discovered for preventing poultry is is successful okay friends thank you for watching uh, part 2 uh, i have not given you the 10 marks question and the case study 15 marks question that i will be doing on another video and i will be uh, sending it to you guys Bangalore University MBA question papers solution please subscribe for my channel on YouTube and also tell your friend to subscribe so that it will be useful for all thank you guys